Here we go folks, we've got a knife that I'm excited to show to you all the way from Finland. This one is from Varustelka.com Military and Outdoors Specialists. Stay tuned folks, you're not going to want to miss this one. Real quick backstory on what's in here. The knife that I wanted, it wasn't available by itself, but it came in a kit. And I'm going to show that kit right now. I hope you're not offended. It definitely wasn't my doing. That's the way they sell it. And we're going to get into that right now and see actually what it is. Bubble wrap. And check it out. Okay, here it is out of the box. It's a piece of wood. Birch. And a knife. So you might say, that's weird. Why do you get a knife strapped to a piece of wood? Well, I'll explain it. Hey, look, DIY. A lyric kirpa. There it is. A knife, piece of wood, and a sheath. Okay. This is a knife and a piece of wood. Alrighty now. Okay, so I apologize. A strange face. Artistia. I can't, I can't, I don't know what that says, so. But this is very interesting. So this guy is definitely saying, good job, buddy. I'm glad you purchased this. So what in the world are you looking at right now? Well, I don't know how to explain it. This is a DIY wooden cock kit. Comes with a knife, comes with a piece of birch. So you know I won't lie. This is the website, verustalica.com. And this is the item. The DIY wooden cock. Make your own. And includes the knife. <laughs> Detailed instructions. Yeah, you saw those instructions, right? You better hurry and get your DIY wooden cock. There's only eight left. The objective is to carve a wooden cock. Now, without going into too much detail, it's a thing in their military. I guess uh, they carve these. Google it. There was a contest. Barustlika uh, was selling these knives with this, and people who carved out sent in pictures, and there was a contest going on. So this will probably maybe turn into a couple spoons. I don't know. What do you guys think? I wanted this knife. I saw it a few months ago. The first time I was introduced to this company was when I saw the Scrama bush knife. So I went to the website and I saw this knife and I didn't buy it. A few months went by. I tried to get it and it was sold out. However, I saw where they were selling this whole, you know, DIY kit, which included this knife. So I said, what the heck, I will go ahead and... <laughs> and purchase that. So anyway, that's it. Um, the reason I ordered this particular kit with the wood and whatnot was just to get this knife. Uh, they did not have the knife available without the kit. That's why we had all that and I apologize if it was a little uh, PG-13. So what are we here for? Here to look at this. Wow, wow, wow. First of all, it's in a really nice leather sheath and it feels like there's an insert. There's a snap right here, retention, which is pretty cool. The knife, uh, I tried to get it out. Can't get it, but pop that snap, and, and it comes right out. So, okay, first look. Wow, this is a high scandy grind, which is much higher than your Moros. And this rubber texturized handle. Holding it for the first time, it's tacky. It uh, really kind of sticks to my hand. So this is a full tang knife. Here is the lanyard hole in the back as the pommel. Completely rubber texturized. The spine feels sharp. Not sure that feels like a sharp 90 degrees and I can see where they cut it. Let's try the fingernail. Yeah, look at that. Alright. I'm really liking the, the feel. 
even though it's rubber, I'm not sure how you know durable or tough and long lasting this rubber handle will be textured or plastic it's like a softer plastic but uh feels pretty good in the hand feels really good actually no matter how I hold it now I don't really want to put my thumb up there it's very comfortable and nearly every position I like it again let's look at this sheath you can see it does indeed have a plastic insert and it's very very strong this leather wow it's wrapped around another lining of some sort it's got a really nice dangler system it looks here now the leather is not you know super thick but now let's take a look the seams and the stitching looks really good and here's that special uh, it's pretty unique snap retention I could not get the knife out when it was like that pull that open and it came right out I really like this it's a rigid plastic leather so I do want to say before I go any further that uh, Mike over at Blue Mountain Bushcraft he posted a video on this knife today actually uh, the same day I got it and he did a really good job uh, of showing you the knife and uh, what it's capable of doing uh, he also did a comparison to a couple of Moras which I'm getting ready to do right now and I just want to show some of the more popular Mora knives and maybe a couple other popular blades out there so let's get right to that the first knife we're going to look at is also a brand new knife that I just got uh, last week and this is a popular Mora this is the 511 and you'll say what green yep well Mora must have just introduced them recently because it used to just come in red now it's in green orange and black and I picked those up but uh, there's a quick look see the difference in the thickness and the blades and the handles so I'm just going to do this kind of for each of the popular moras not going to go into a lot of detail another very popular knife is the mora companion the blades mora really thin the handles now let's check out the Mora Classic 1 and much smaller knife blade thickness and handle not even really a comparison here especially that this is full tang uh, this is the Bushcraft Forest this actually has a very thin blade but the handle is just like the Bushcraft Black and the texture on these is almost as if they're the same and you'll see later I'll go in close up on the bushcraft black now another popular is the Mora Companion HD so you'll notice it's got the thicker blade than the normal companion okay there's the handles now my favorite Mora so far was this one bushcraft black here you can see the thickness of this Jaka Ripuko is even more so than the bushcraft black the handles now here's where I was talking about these handles feel exactly the same so look at the rubber on both of these very similar and it feels very similar okay this next knife may be the biggest competitor or the best comparison to this blade because it is a full tang and that is the Mora Garberg so you can see right off the bat the blades kinda of similar in size the handles very similar in length but much different in design I like the palm swell on this I like the softer rubber texture 
the Garberg has a harder scale and it's very versatile now this handle you can hold it any way you want for sure it's just not as soft now the Jocker Repuco has a much higher Scandi grind than the Garberg here we see the Jocker Repuco is indeed thicker and just a tad bit longer the next knife is more of a budget full tang bushcraft knife the Condor Bushlore so if we look at these together you can see again the blade lengths very similar and the handles are similar look at the thickness in comparison another budget full tang the Schrade SEHF 42 now this is definitely a different knife with that grind but I just wanted to show you because I had it sitting here Schrade is much bigger now we're talking a little more similarity between the thickness the Schrade may even be a touch thicker so I went through my knives trying to find one that had this high Scandi grind closest thing I had to compare is this knife which is the Topps Brocamo and you'll notice it does also have a higher Scandi grind the Brocamo has very thick blade and the handles the Brocamo is just the overall larger knife but it has that same grind Obviously, I've got to do the paper cut test, see what she does. That's sharp, folks. No denying that is sharp. Now, I'm not even hardly putting any pressure on this. That is insanely sharp. Okay, we got some cardboard from Amazon. We'll try slow and then we'll slice. Okay, very sharp. Now let's just Very sharp. Paper, cardboard. This is the just receipt paper, so we know that's thin. Got that really slow. Man, this thing is so sharp. And I'm sure one stroke razor sharp. Well, I'm satisfied. I can't wait to get out into the woods, put this to test. I want to really check out this 90 degree spine. I know Mike mentioned his had a little roll. This doesn't feel like it. Um, tell you what, let me let me go grab a ferro rod. Hold on. All right, I just grabbed a cheap one that was uh, on one of my sheaths. Let's see what it'll do. All right, I don't want to keep doing that to my knife because it's really unnecessary, but it does strike a ferro rod. All right, folks, that is a first look and impressions at the Jaca Ripuco from barustalaka.com I really like it please go check out their website I um, think they'll be getting more of these in stock where you don't have to order the DIY wooden cock kit if you don't want it but uh, overall I can't wait to get out into the field put this thing to use and again go check out the Mike over at Blue Mountain Bushcraft he's got a good video on this knife uh, check out the link below.
Alright, let's do one close up of the blade before we go. High scandy grind, 90 degrees. Rubber textured handle, full tang to that big lanyard hole. And you can see there's a little palm swell going that way as well. But let's see how it goes into the sheath. There's a click, a distinctive click. And this is leather with plastic insert. Taking it out, not hard at all, but it definitely clicks in there. And it's not going anywhere, and that's without even snapping it. Once you snap this retention, I can't even get it out. It ain't coming at all. So you got this on your belt, unsnap it, comes out fairly easy, throw it back in. So if you're just moving around, you know, doing your daily business, this is going to hold this knife perfectly fine without this snap. Snap it in if you really don't want it to go anywhere. Really impressed. And for the pricing on this, I'm telling you, these uh, these guys over here, they're shipping these things for 10 bucks, 9.99 shipping on whatever you order. I did get a couple other items and you know, very impressed with that. And it got here in eight days I think. I ordered it on the 16th and it came on the 23rd. So yeah, that was awesome. Resummarize the specs. The overall length of the knife is 9.5 inches. The blade is 4.3 inches and the width is one inch. It has a thickness of four millimeters and the weight is 175 grams or 6.17 ounces and that's without the sheath. Uh, the edge is 23 degree edge. So that is the Jockery Puko from Varustalica.com and I'm very happy with it. I'll have the links below to the knife, to the DIY wooden cock kit and also to Blue Mountain Bushcraft and his review of this knife. Uh, please go check out his video. But um, hey thanks for stopping by taking the time to watch this. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.